Hello everybody. Um, today I thought I would do some some of these. Okay, but I'm going to do it with Tyvek and then burn them. You know, so they're all sort of like shrunk away. I'm just it's just an experiment. I just so I've done them with book pages and on nice paper. You know, so you know I put these in my books. I've got um, other videos on that as well. Um, I usually put a dangle on the end, but I think I've used some more. Oh, uh, yeah, I have. There's some more there, just bits of lace. But so I'm going to colour a sheet of Tyvek with some acrylic. I'm using metallic acrylics, but you don't have to. I've got a bit here as well. Just don't need very much. I might as well paint that as well. So the colours, because I'm using um, vintage days, I thought I'd go with these colours. All right, this is the metallic. So I've got bronze. Pearl cactus green. There, yeah, pearl olive green. I've also got pearl chartered use. Whether you charter use, charter use, <laughs> charter use. <laughs> yeah, sorry, it's because it's charter then use. It, I feel like I need to say two words, but it's one word. Okay, <laughs> and pearl amaranth red so that looked like a nice pink but i'm not sure what color that is and i haven't even opened these so i don't know i've got my pot of water got a brush i'm not going to be too you know what's over it really could have done with a palette i'll tell you what i'll do that on the deli sheet i'll use that as my palette so, oh no, that's that's fine. That's good. Yeah. So I'm not. I just do it in stripes, but then you just do it how you want. Okay, that's I'm just gonna go over that a bit. It's a little bit bright that what colour was that? Charter juice. See I've added oops. So I gotta remind um my son he's gotta go work <laughs> just in case. Which I will do. I'll just paint this bit. Let's go over that. Okay. I'll leave that to dry. I'll do the other piece like that as well. Okay, let's get on with that. Flies are back today. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> right. I I have so many alarms to um make sure I don't forget because I when I get crafting I just get so absorbed in what I'm doing. Sorry, I had a bit too much water with that one, and um I'm lightly to forget what I'm doing so that's why I set myself alarms <laughs> I do it for tea as well <laughs> right it's time to go and cook tea now but I do I must admit my husband's pretty good he does do quite a bit well, I'm gonna have a bit of that but I didn't really want that next to that but never mind it is now I'm gonna have some more bronze I think
Yeah, I don't mind contaminating the colours. So I actually prefer that. So it all blends in then. Okay, that's the message today. It's actually not working today. It's Thursday. <laughs> I never know when they're working. I'm terrible. I just, I say, right. And they change and then they don't tell me and then they still expect me to... To remind them that it's working he's old enough now to do it himself but of course with lockdown you know they he tended to sleep by day wake by night <laughs> so i've got to get him used to getting up and all that sort of stuff again really he always was quite good actually brilliant at college you know was always never had to Remind him he always got it up. Um, all right, how's that looking? I think okay. Yeah. So I have to let that dry naturally. Right, I'm gonna that on there <laughs> and then I will all right, do that my new painting <laughs> okay any offers <laughs> okay that's all um dry and i've just cut some strips up i like i can't you can do this you know and it be the same size that's what i do normally with paper but because i'm burning all right and i like the lines that burn do you see what i mean they sort of create a crease on those lines so i've just done a couple there i haven't inked this one up but that's that's what i like yeah so the thinner the you know the thinner the paper not thinner in just in that way yeah is you'll get create more lines and they burn which i'll show you they burn quicker than the rest and that's what gives you the texture i mean don't get me wrong it's quicker to do a bit of fabric or um a bit of paper you know but i actually i like the process of this so i'll just start at the top hopefully i might have to come in a bit a minute i just glue it on there oh, Okay, and then I'll twist around. Sorry, these are quite small. I should have done it with a bigger one, then it would have been easier to see. I'll do a little bit more up there. So I do a couple of rows in each place, and then I'll move down a little bit. All right, can you see? And then I'll do a couple there. Right, and then keep going. These are I just cut them because um, paper trimmer is not liking these at the minute. I think because they were still damp. That's why, and I kept bending. So, <clears throat> and then I'll go up again. And then I'll pinch that between my finger. Put a bit of glue on the end okay and see all the lines and they sort of burn they, they tend to burn quicker than the rest right so you do a few like that right i'll sit down now if that's okay
So, cut the turns in the same place and then move down. Yeah. Do get looped up a bit with glue. <laughs> Looped up with glue. That's a good sentence. <laughs> Gosh. Get that for my hands. Okay, All right. We'll go back to this one. It should be dry. I need to glue that bit down. I'm not sure on that one, but that's okay. <laughs> a bit too over, overdone there, but I love it. <laughs> just, I just think, well, just you know, loads of texture. Watch, don't burn your fingers. Do another one. I'll be a bit careful on this one. And see the way the other colours poke through as well, which can look very interesting. And then, obviously, ink them up a bit, but these don't need much actually, just a bit, just to if there's any white bits showing through from the back. I mean, most probably an idea to paint actually both sides. To be honest, but there we go. That's those done, and then we just put a dangle on. I've got a few bits here. I'll do the dangle first. I actually want to dangle one of these, so I want to use this. So that's just one of these like little ceramic hearts. Get a bead. I'm just going to do that one. Um, I've shown this before, but I just, I buck down to the bead and then go away, move my wrist. So I was there, yeah, then I swivel my wrist to there and then I come towards me like that. And then again, I swivel my wrist, okay, and then I will wrap. And that's it. And there it is, and then you cut that bit off. Yeah, 
and if need be just push that end in if it's sticking out a bit yeah and there you have your your little dangle and um i use i'm going to use these small ones all right so you won't see this but very well i'll grab hold of that I'll put that on and that so I have to catch the, the light is coming in and I can, can't actually see there we go no that's fine and so that's that how much way? I think I'll put the flower on that side. Okay, and I use a tiny bit of lace. Not too much because you want to go away from what we've done, actually, a bit less. And then I did have a little flower. There it is. Which I showed these in, um, I'll link the other video. And I showed these just punches and I, I just batch do them and stick a gem in. Oops. It's a bit small for me, but I do like them. There we go. And then you've got a nice back with a bit of texture going on. Okay, right, I'm going to go and do a few of them. Um, shall I show you a few more? I don't know. I think they're all right, really. I see that's a bit of fabric. And then, you know, they're as good as anything. But I just wanted to use a tie back because I really love it. I need couple more of these actually I haven't got many dangles made up so that's like a seed bead on there because these aren't very big that bit there so I've got to cover that and these the holes in these beads are massive but that's okay so I did two if I do two so I'll wrap around that top bead I think you've seen me do that before so again go down to there Go away from me, twist my wrist, and then I come towards me, twist my wrist again, okay, and then I'll go twice, yeah, and then I'll come down and I'll wrap around that bottom seed bead there, okay, like that. Oh, my hands are really gluey. Sorry, that looks that's disgusting. <laughs> I've been down the coal mine. Right, and then just get that and any bits stick up or sharp. Yeah, always feel it. Get used to doing that with jewellery, you know, because jewellery making, I don't want it to scratch anybody. And then do that, and it's gone. And here is your little tangle with wire just wrapped around it. Okay, can you see that? Hopefully, I can focus now. Okay, and that's my little dangle on the bottom. Well, I've got one there, so I've got one, two, and I'll do another one of those. I've got three, so I have enough for this journal because I only put a couple in each journal. Another one there. Hello. And see this one because of that ring is not open, right? You have to do a join-in ring. Yeah. Which are oh, I really want to use these small ones.
and then that as well and then close it there you have your little dangle yeah all right so i'll go ahead and put all the rest of those on and i'll get some flowers out and I'll stick them on and come back when they're all done oh i, I will burn these they burn these too because that's fun to watch <laughs> Well, it is for me anyway. <laughs> See how they turn out. Right, stand up and then. Still fun though. There you go. That one, the first one I've done is perfect. Okay, but then I'll just put the lace on that bit. Uh, it's got a nice bag, not too burnt. I've run out of tiny little flowers, so I've, instead of linking the video, I thought I might as well show you. So I'll push all those bits out of the way. Okay, I've got my little punch. That's a X cut one, tiny little thing. Oh gosh, it's less, less than half an inch. I'm um, sorry, can't see the. Such an old ruler, this one. Um, from that end to that's about three quarters of an inch. No, half an inch. Okay, from petal to petal. All right, but that's like the smallest one they had. And I've just covered a bit of file folder with some music paper. You can do any paper you want. I actually got, I might do some of that as well. Okay. And I use a bit of spray. I'll just put this down. Working on my work of art. <laughs> Shall we let used later? <laughs> I don't know what for, but we'll find a use for it. I got me, just use that, I think. My mica powder, just because we there's quite a bit of green through the journal. I don't think I was coming out of that one. Let just cut out loads.
And then I usually just put a bit of, yeah, it's fiddly because these are really small, but I wanted the small ones. Oh, we got another bee. Oh, yesterday was terrible. I had to leave leave the studio. It's oh, it's massive. So I shall be back in a bit, folks. Okay, because I have to turn the light out because I don't want it to get me. And I love bees. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to get stung. Right, I'll see, see you in a minute. Well, oh, that was a bit of excitement. <laughs> I think it took him 10 minutes to come out, get out of my studio. So, where was I? <laughs> cool. He was a big one. I expect you saw it. I'll keep that in so you can see him. Of course, I've planted, you know, like I said, I've planted a load of lavender, but it's way up in the garden. But they're still they're coming in but that's okay i just have to stop and leave them alone for a bit so and turn the light off and then they tend to go out the door then okay that will do and then I've got my little foam pad, but mouse mat works fine for this. One of these embossing tools. It's quite large, but I, I don't mind. And then I just go, oh, I don't want to hear the jingle. Round and round, like that. And that just gives it a bit of shape. Of that one, yeah. and then you get the little gemstones out. Uh, hopefully, I've got some of those. Right, got a few left. I haven't got many now. Of course, I used to have loads of them because I used to use them a lot in card making. These dinky ones, but I shall do some green and pink ones. Yeah, these little flowers that are made up like this in Hobbycraft in the UK, we can, work, we can get them. They're quite expensive, so I just think we can make them up. Don't take long, really. Okay. Some little pieces of lace. Um, this just rips apart this one.
all decorated. Yep. There we go, they're all done now. Okay, well actually, if I place them on there, I can lift them up to the... Come on, I can do that. Them. There we go. Okay. Lovely job. Or a proper job, as they say here. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye.